Seven-year-old Aiden Segul looks like any other kid about to start school, but what you can't see is that Aiden has a life-threatening allergy to dairy and eggs. Everyone gets to eat it around me, but I can't. It's something his parents discovered the first time he tried yogurt as a baby. All of a sudden, it just like, something didn't seem right. I got nervous, I took his shirt off, and he was just covered in hives. Mom Allison was prescribed an epinephrine auto injector, then trained how to use it, and she learned to ask the pharmacy about its expiration date. They're grabbing one off the shelf, it's expiring in four months. Not only do you have to go back in four months, but you've spent the money for something that's not even lasting you the year. Expiration dates vary by brand, but most expire after a year to 18 months. However, a recent study in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology in practice found the medicine in them was potent years after the date on the package. By the definition of the FDA, this is something that is viable and this is something that isn't yet expired. Dr. Michael Pisner is the director of Food Allergy Advocacy Education and Prevention at Mass General Hospital. He says this study adds to a growing body of research with similar findings. Of the 46 auto injectors tested, the ones that were six months expired had 100% of the concentration of epinephrine. Those expired a year had a 95% concentration. Even the devices 30 months expired were still 90% effective. It's really reassuring to know that even expired auto injectors are oftentimes going to be effective. So having those is better than nothing. An important point when EpiPens can be costly and in short supply. And based on these studies, Dr. Pissner thinks extending expiration dates should be up for discussion. If there's less people needing to go to the pharmacies to pick up refills, then there will be more available auto injectors for those who need because of appropriate expiration dates. <laughs> Aiden's school requires an up-to-date EpiPen, and Allison usually gets new ones once they've expired. Though they've had to use them twice over the years, today Aiden knows what he can eat, things like his favorite dairy-free pizza and cookies, and sometimes he's not that upset about the things he can't have. Sometimes it's gross. Sometimes it's gross? Sometimes it just looks gross, so I'm happy that I'm not allergic to it. The expiration date issue is part of a larger picture concerning the availability of epinephrine. Dr. Pissner says the bottom line is that families have an auto injector they're trained on and that they're comfortable using. And talking with your doctor if you're having issues is really the best course of action. Emily Reamer, WCVB News Center 5.